Professor Alex Vernon here from Detroit Mercy School of Law with some important news from Canada about the Safe Third Country Agreement. The Safe Third Country Agreement has been found unconstitutional by a federal court in Canada, but the agreement remains in effect for now. Refugee claimants will still be sent back to the United States if they come to the Canadian border to make a refugee claim, unless they meet an exception to the Safe Third Country Agreement. Let's watch a video from Canada's national news program and we can talk some more. They are images that are hard to forget. Asylum seekers with luggage in tow, crossing from the U.S. into rural Quebec on foot. Under the Safe Third Country Agreement, this is the only way they can seek asylum in Canada, because if they arrive at an official border crossing from the U.S., they'd be turned back and asked to seek asylum there. Today, a federal court judge ruled that violates their human rights. This ruling is, is not only significant, it is, it is groundbreaking. Amnesty International Canada is one of the groups that was part of the court challenge. This has been years now, really since day two after Donald Trump uh, took office. Uh, groups have been calling on the Canadian government to take this step. I think people did see those images uh, of kids in cages in the U.S., of families being separated in the U.S. And people don't realize that our immigration system is intimately tied up with the U.S. immigration system in many ways, and the agreement is one of those. The federal court justice ruled the way the U.S. imprisons refugee claimants violates the Charter of Rights. Today, those who work to help refugees resettle are welcoming the decision. When people are seeking safety, they're simply seeking safety. We're really happy to see this decision. Today, the Minister of Public Safety stood by the agreement. Uh, we were very, always mindful of our international convention obligations to those seeking refuge. The Conservatives want the government to appeal today's ruling and to strengthen the agreement. We have urged the Liberals for years now to negotiate with the United States uh, uh, repair and, and fixes for the loopholes in the safe uh, third country agreement. The federal government is now reviewing the decision and has six months to respond. Until then, the agreement remains in place. Farah Morali, CBC News, Toronto. All right, so this, is a vid this video is a series of video, a part of a series of videos about making refugee claims in Canada after being in the United States. And I'm going to talk to you about the process from going to Canada from the United States to make a refugee claim. This can be a very confusing topic. People who get the wrong information could get sent back from Canada and could be jailed in the United States and put in deportation proceedings. There is an agreement between Canada and the United States called the Safe Third Country Agreement. This agreement was found unconstitutional by a federal court in Canada on July 22nd, 2020, but the decision does not take effect for six months. I repeat, the Safe Third Country Agreement remains in effect for now, despite the decision striking it down. You can find information about the agreement at the Canada Border Services website, and I'm gonna go there. I want to summarize some things about the agreement. This safe third country agreement applies to people who arrive from the United States at official land border crossings or ports of entry. This includes bridges and tunnels and passenger trains, but does not include ferry boats. This agreement says that most people who arrive at these official land crossings are not able to make refugee claims in Canada and they will be sent back to the United States. There are some exceptions to the agreement, including for people who have certain types of family members who are either Canadian citizens or have certain types of status in Canada. 
there is an exception to the agreement for unaccompanied minors, that is children, under the age of 18 without a parent in the US or Canada. There is also an exception for people who have certain visas or travel documents, allowing them to come to Canada or for people from countries that do not currently need a visa to come to Canada. One such country is Mexico. There are other exceptions to the agreement. If you come to an official Canadian land border or port of entry to make a refugee claim, you will be sent back to the United States unless you qualify for an exception to the safe third country agreement. If you're thinking about making a refugee claim in Canada, you should talk to a lawyer first, especially a lawyer that is qualified to practice Canadian immigration and refugee law. I'm including some links in the information section below the video that can help you find one. Please look out for my other videos on irregular crossings at Roxham Road and coronavirus updates and new grounds of ineligibility for Canadian refugee claimants. This is a situation where things may change rapidly depending on government decisions and a Canadian federal court case. You should check with the organizations I mentioned and listed in the information section and I will try and update this message on a regular basis. You can find me, Alex Vernon, at the website of the University of Detroit Mercy School of Law Immigration Clinic. You can email me at vernon, V-E-R-N-O-N-A-G, at udmercy.edu. You can also reach me at an easy to remember email taxi313 at yahoo.com or by telephone, WhatsApp, or Signal at 313-444-9222. Thank you for listening to this message. Please share with other people that may be interested.